A statue of Hugo Chavez, Venezuela's late president, burned down. The latest protest in the southern city of San Felix shows anger against the socialist government is intensifying. Protesters believe President Nicolas Maduro is responsible for the ongoing crisis, hyperinflation and the lack of basic goods. What we really want is for him to go, because enough is enough. We are tired of this situation. Venezuela's opposition has a name for Maduro since he was re-elected president in a poll they call illegitimate. Out with the usurper. New opposition leader, National Assembly Speaker Juan Guaido, says he's ready to lead a transitional government until new elections are held. Here we are, all in the same holding pen, without light, without water, without medicine, without gas, and with an uncertain future. There has been frustration over the opposition's inability to remove Maduro. The Venezuelan president has sidelined the opposition-controlled National Assembly, creating an alternative constitutional legislative body, while authorities have arrested opposition leaders, accusing them of planning a coup, including Guaido's mentor, Leopoldo Lopez. Guaido, too, is now under threat. But the opposition has stronger international backing than ever, with support coming not only from Washington, but also from Venezuela's neighbors like Brazil, now run by a right-wing government, and from the Organization of American States.